Good afternoon and welcome to the 28storms.com tropical weather update for Thursday, September 29th. Tropical Storm Ophelia is nearly a Category 1 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. It will more than likely be upgraded later this afternoon. It's moving off toward the north-northwest at 9 miles per hour and a gradual bend more toward the north-northeast is anticipated during the middle half of the weekend and that should take it just to the east of Bermuda. Although if it gets close enough there may be tropical storm watches issued and later on as we get into Sunday night and Monday morning there is the possibility of tropical storm force winds over Newfoundland even if Ophelia becomes extra tropical by that point. The latest spaghetti model plots are nearly all in agreement now that the center of Ophelia will pass just to the east of Bermuda but also notice here by Sunday night and Monday morning once again we have fairly good model agreement that it's going to pass fairly close to St. John's Newfoundland. In the meantime Tropical Storm Philippe is not looking nearly as healthy this afternoon. Maximum sustained winds are 45 miles per hour. It's moving off toward the northwest at 13 miles per hour and the Hurricane Center is now forecasting a gradual bend more toward the west in the overall forecast track However, by 8 a.m. Tuesday, it is forecast to weaken to a tropical depression. An increasing number of model members are taking Philippe more toward the west in the medium and extended range. However, if it does make it that far west, it is likely to do so as a very minimal tropical cyclone or an already dissipated tropical cyclone. And I still believe that the odds of this recurving to the east of Bermuda are fairly high. Today's basin-wide satellite view shows that close to home we're looking fairly good out there in the tropics. We do have some convection over the Gulf of Mexico and just off the Carolina coast. However, much of those areas are being dominated by very strong mid to upper level westerly winds and development is very unlikely. So that means we're left with our two tropical storms in the central Atlantic. As we can tell, Tropical Storm Ophelia is well on its way to becoming a hurricane later today. We already have signs of a ragged eye wall feature beginning to form. And if we look off toward the east, we see that Tropical Storm Philippe is still struggling due to a lot of wind shear. Switching over to the latest infrared, we see that we don't have an incredibly significant cloud burst near the convective center of Tropical Storm Ophelia, but that eye is beginning to develop, and much of the convection associated with Tropical Storm Philippe is displaced to the northeast of the center. If we switch over to the water vapor, we still see that there is a fairly powerful trough just to the north of Philippe and we also have a mid-level disturbance just to the west of the storm so the intensity forecast is not looking very high as Philippe continues to move off toward the west northwest however the conditions out ahead of tropical storm Ophelia are gradually becoming ever so gradually more favorable the upper level low that we mentioned yesterday is continuing to move off more toward the northeast so that's giving it a small window to briefly become a minimal hurricane but look off toward the west, we still have a lot of troughiness here between Bermuda and the Carolinas, and along with it we have a lot of strong moderate westerly wind shear, so it should really not, not get any stronger than a minimal 80 to 85 mile per hour hurricane. In the eastern Pacific, Tropical Storm Hillary is near full dissipation, well to the southwest of the Baja Peninsula, and as we go off toward the south of Mexico, we do see that there is a slight increase in convection compared to yesterday, but nothing is overly organized at this time. Looking ahead for the next six to seven days, starting off with the 12Z run of the Canadian CMC model, we see that it begins to stir up some activity here to the south of Mexico, although this is the only model developing a tropical cyclone down there that quickly. In the meantime, the rest of the Gulf and Caribbean are forecast to be relatively calm over the next six days. And here's a look at Tropical Storm Ophelia. It is forecast to directly impact Bermuda based on this model solution. However, it is the only model doing such a thing with Ophelia. And also by day six, this is a look at Tropical Storm Philippe also passing just to the east of the island. Switching over to the 12Z run of the GFS model, it keeps much of the eastern Pacific and the Atlantic Basin relatively quiet. It pushes Tropical Storm Ophelia just to the east of Bermuda. And also notice as we go into days six and seven, it takes Tropical Storm Philippe much more toward the west. But as we indicated earlier, if it does take this more westerly track, it is going to be prone to weakening rather significantly. As those troughs come in from the eastern United States, they are going to continue ushering in a lot of strong moderate wind shear, which will guarantee that the eastern United States will not be impacted by either one of these tropical systems. This is now the 0Z run from the overnight ECMWF. This is 2448 
in 72 hours. Notice that Ophelia is expected to strengthen into a hurricane, but pass just to the east of Bermuda as we have this very strong trough beginning to exit the Mid-Atlantic in New England states. As we go into day four, notice that now Hurricane Ophelia is becoming post-tropical as it heads off in the general direction of Newfoundland. And in the meantime, more toward the south, we have the remnants now of Tropical Storm Philippe by day five. It's continuing to move toward the west-northwest, but notice that we have another trough here over the northwest Atlantic, and also the subtropical ridge over the Atlantic Basin in general is weakening due to yet another weakness just to the south of the Azores Islands. Therefore, by day six and day seven, the remnants of whatever is left of Philippe is going to recurve more toward the northeast, especially as this trough as a whole begins to amplify and dominate much of the northern Atlantic Ocean. And more toward the south here in the deep tropics, notice all the way through day 10, we don't really see much in the way of any tropical activity. So we will continue to closely monitor what will likely soon become Hurricane Ophelia as it will be passing very close to Bermuda and Newfoundland. But elsewhere, the tropics are relatively calm. We'll go we're going to keep a close watch on Philippe as well, although it's very far away from Bermuda at this current time. And the odds of that system also impacting you are fairly low. So thanks again for visiting 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app. Please check by again tomorrow afternoon for another video.